Hi again then guys and welcome to another circuit setup in GT Sport of course for one of the cars from the 1.28 patch the Porsche 996 GT3 this car's got a lot of charm it's not quite as sharp as the newer ones but of course you'd kind of hope that that would be the case I mean otherwise the newer ones would be not that great but that does not mean that this car is not without its merits the biggest merit easily of this car over the other 911s is that you can detune it to N300 and that is a huge advantage because the Porsches are always OP so potentially this is a really useful N300 car at least when you can use it for that. Now as far as the upgrades you want to detune it to N300 or of course you can use this for other classes if you want to you don't have to stay to N300, that's just the tune that I've done. I've dropped the weight as much as you can, basically. As far as traction control, we've got that turned off. Of course, that will vary from driver to driver. Sports soft tyres, of course, to show what it can do in most circumstances. Racing tyres will obviously be even better. As far as the suspension, I've got the ride height on 90mm on the front, 95 on the back. For the frequency, 2.4, 7 on the anti-roll bars. For the compression on the dampers, we've got 59, then 85 on the rebound side of things. Neutral camber, neutral toe. You can't adjust the rear downforce, but you do have a little bit to be working with. As far as the diff, I've opted for halfway for initial torque, then the lowest setting for acceleration and braking. As I always say, different things for different people. If you want to try this one, if you don't like it, if you want to try other things then that's absolutely fine, of course. I'd recommend trying that diff setting first, though, because it feels pretty good with that. And finally, for the gearbox, as I always say with these N-Class tunes, you will definitely need to change the gears if you do give it more power, obviously, to get more speed out of it. But for N300, at least, I would recommend an auto setting of 174 miles per hour, then individual gears of 2850, 2025, 1550, 1250, 1050, and 0.925. So pretty easy to just round those off to those, then a final drive of 3.4. Now, of course, what you want to know, especially in comparison to the 997 Porsche circuit tune that we did for N400, is how quick is this in comparison to that to give you an idea, or to give you an idea of how competitive it can be. Well, as far as the track potential that this one has, it's really good. Now, of course, it's a Porsche, so it's going to be good. They're always competitive, they have a good name for a reason. But again, to give you an idea of how this compares to the one class higher Porsche 997 tune that I did a couple of days ago, that one can lap in whatever it was, just under 150, I think, like 149, something like that. This one's a 152 peak lap, at least for me. Of course, you could get it even quicker lap after lap if you put it on better tires, etc. So for an N300 car to be able to lap that quickly, that's pretty good. Now, I'm not going to say it's the fastest thing out there. There are certainly other cars which could be tuned for N300, which could be really good as well. But this one is a very good go-to choice. The pricing is pretty good. It's the most affordable of the 911s at 140,000. It's got great range from N300 upward. The handling is, as I alluded to in my reviews and tunes for the other Porsches, not quite as sharp and it's not as focused as the newer ones. But one of the things that I like about this one is that, as I mentioned way back in my overall review on day one of the 1.28 update, is that this one is smooth. It's much smoother, it's more kind of soft than the other 911s. It's not quite sharp, not quite as intense, a little bit more forgiving perhaps. It's on the more tail happy side of things, but it doesn't tend to give you the kind of snap over steer that they sometimes can. Overall, it's a very forgiving car, perfect car to get beginners or even pros actually into the N300 level and be really competitive and win tons of events. So if you do use this, I hope you really enjoy it. You'll definitely have the potential of winning a lot of races. And if you want to check out all of my other tunes, including for the other Porsches, you can click right here on screen to see those. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.